Welcome back to EU4. We're playing Cologne. Um, a few episodes back. <laughs> hey, uh, actually, it, was it the previous or the one before that? I cannot remember at the moment. We took um, Osnabrück, uh, which is actually quite uh, great. Uh, so, we need to find a way to move forward. Um, seeing Oldenbrook over here, it's a duchy. But it's part of the trade league. That will never go well if you go against that. Uh, same goes for East Frisia. Bremen is a free city. Werder is also part of the trade league. Uh, so that keeps Friesland. And I think, is Friesland part of the HRE? That is a bit of my question. Can we please show me a province? They are part of an HRE. That is quite annoying. But I still think this is the best way for us to get a coastal province however that is not going to be happening very shortly what we need to be doing is making sure that this unlawful territory will die out considering my uh, diplomat is already returning and uh, yeah that's, that's that's not going to be pretty i really don't feel that yeah we have a lot to do, guys. We have a lot to do. We need to make sure that our manpower keeps up. That we beat this rebellion into the ground. The coring is almost up and that should change the unrest here. Uh, it will take a long time until the autonomy goes down. And then we can st finally start gaining money. Uh, we, of course, are getting money already. And I would like to start saving up again and pay off this one final loan. Uh, it's now 3.3, this should go right now, so unrest should be going down even faster, giving us a tiny, tiny bit, because the development is so low. We do want to make sure, they, they, they hate us, they hate us, and of course it will take us 8 years until we are ready to go at it again. We have some good allies. And it will not be long until they likely go against Bomifia. Um, they have a vassal in Sicilia, apparently. Interesting. We'll just see how this will all develop. For now, let us start by building up a spy network in Friesland and all of the others. We don't necessarily have to start claiming, but we'll have to build up. Munche really took a hit here. So if we take on like rivals, actually, did we lose a rival? No, Munche is still a valid rival. Uh, Bunswick itself, who are you allied to? Rivals are Munche and Hesse. If he would declare against Hesse, the others will probably get in there. We might go ahead and attack him. He is my rival, right? If we were to go to war him, could we do something, you know, silly, like, um, you know, uh, humiliate a rival or show strength? You know, that would be absolutely fantastic if that is uh, something that we are able to do. Uh, you are building up with my al allies. Uh, do we actually have build up against you? No. So if we were to go, it would only be humiliation. Most likely, Austria is not going to be liking that idea. Yeah, this is slowly dying out. As long as they're not gone, keep your troops there. Friendly troops is negative 5. And that's what generates a 0 0.50. Wow. Separatists will decay by 0 0.5 until 7 1476. Like, whoa, that is uh, quite something. Look at this, local ship building time. <laughs> That's funny. No, that actually is funny. Uh, we don't necessarily have to take this. I would rather wait with this. What I do want to make sure of is that we'll get more in military. As you can see, we're falling behind. So perhaps we, this should be the time where we say we want to be focusing on military power we want to be as close to the zero as possible just 
making sure this goes up. The rest, it is nice. And for an idea group, I'm actually considerate about diplomatic ideas. Getting an additional diplomat, but also a diplomatic relations. Another diplomat. Improving relations. Diplomatic reputation, which is quite strong. And prov um, a province war score cost negative 20. So less war score. Uh, is that against me? You will never quite know what... Um, what you can gain at peace at the peace table. So I would read this as our the provinces that we take will cost 20% less. And also diplomatic technology cost negative 10, which is quite nice. Um, lower impact stability for diplomatic actions. And the other one, or the next one, perhaps even going into religion. I'm not sure. We'll get missionaries, although this is not really something that I'm probably going to get right away. Maybe uh, administrative ideas, core creation cost going down, interest per annum, uh, mercenaries more, possible advisors, admin technology negative 10. Everything that will save us on um, monarch points, I'd say that's a good thing. Now, speaking of which, we would like to get this discipline going that's really nice that would be very very cool now for now we what were we going to do oh yeah we're going to be building up just so we know COVID action building up against brunswick although let's take a look once we have this if we were to declare this austria is not going in and since this is a humiliation the others they they don't really feel like it we don't have enough to get those points. Also, getting Bomifia in here, I don't know. I seriously don't know about it. Uh, if we go to war against Friesland, Austria, because we don't have a claim, Oldenburg and Pomerania actually isn't too bad. Uh, we cannot promise them anything yet. So this could only happen if we have enough favors. Um, I'm actually leaning on doing a first war. Uh, and we'll see what what kind of troops does um, Pomerania have. Let's go Ledger. Let's put rivals off. Let's go Pom Pomerania. Force limit of nine, six k in total. Actually, not too bad. But what else do you have? Um, you have an embargo, and you're being embargoed. Conquest causes belly. I don't see like any vassals. Uh, Royal marriage from Mecklenburg. And embracing the renaissance. So the renaissance is going to be very close. I would like to do that. Um, if we are able to. Uh, where can I see that again? I have to remember these things. Um, no, no, no. Is it in here? Uh, boosting this would be very nice. Hmm. Where can I find this again? Someone help me with this. I, I know... No. Ah, oh, man. It's been a few days. And I think it's over here. So, as you can see, we, we are not ready to embrace anything yet. Because it hasn't spread towards us. And uh, the countries that have it, it, it's like over here. In Rome... It, it triggered. So before that is over here. That's going to take a long time. Now usually you can get this up by doing some development. Getting the renaissance in one of your territory. Save up money. Embrace it. And you'll get less of development cost. So I'll probably try to hold off developing. Until we are ready as for this uh, diplomat let's boost up some more in our allies because they took a hit due to unlawful territory and can we pay this loan back england is starting to influence the cleaves really now because that is a great power right that is um not something that we can check right away but we'll have to uh, look at that later. As for my money, we're paying an interest of 004. Let us wait until the rebellion is out. And we can slowly dial this down 
It's on 40% and it's still 10.6 years. Maybe keeping the, uh, this at max for a longer period in time. We can probably do that. Or how much would they spring actually? They would go up with 8k tropes. Um, yeah, let's not. Also, getting stability would be very nice with that. I, I haven't gotten any... Well, not enough points to boost that stability. Wow. Thank you, game. You read my mind. <laughs> Man, that was lucky. Um, this will definitely change how long it will take to die down. I think we can actually see that next time. I think the diplomacy or actually stability helps with that. Um, we have loans. I am aware of that. Still 8k troop. National unrest is down. Yes. Let's see. Stability cost modifier. Yeah, national unrest. Uh, I think it will increase. 13 years. So the amount did change. And we're making more money now. And that's what we want. And uh, I actually do want to repay this one, one damn loan. Uh, adding corruption uh, but gaining admin. Yeah, let's take that. I will get a bit of corruption. How long will it take me? Half a year. So that is about six in my treasury. Let's just repay this one loan because I would like to take a loan whenever it suits me. We're still getting 0 0.26 in war reps. And we'll just wait a bit more. Hopefully the military will spring into action. We'll get some uh, military tactics but also land morale. We want to make sure that our treasury is able to sustain a full military. And let's just get a claim over here and get him out. You. And I want you to go to Oldenbrook. And what would happen if I do this? Look at this trade league. That's horrible. If any of them leave the trade league, that would be the reason for us to go to war. That's why I'm making want to make sure that we have claims. All these spy networks need to be built ASAP. Um, the levy. So keep the uh, keep it at a modest level. Loyalty goes down. We'll lose money, and the national tax modifier will go down. Yearly prestige and possible advice. The nobility gain twenty loyalty, um, and lose fifteen influence. Let's see. With more loyalty, we can actually get military power and we can actually get that military technology. Raise levy. Well, this will build up by itself. So. <sighs> 20 loyalty. And it is a. Until the November 27th or 1477, the following effect national tax mod modifier negative 10. Uh, the tax at the moment is 2.13, so 10% would be like 0 0.21 for 10 years. That is actually quite a bit though. Is there a way to boost the nobility up? No, but 40 isn't too bad. And uh, we'll have to wait to call a deity or a diet or whatever it's called. To demand military support. And I would like the military support. Also the yearly prestige. Would climb by 0 0.50. Which does help with uh, a lot of things. And uh, possible advisors I don't care about. So I'm actually. We're, we're going to be losing 18 ducats as well. Um, we might have to lower the military a tiny bit. Not to get into a negative. Although it is 0 0.04. I'm going to do it and demand the military support. There we go. And that should almost give this. Now we are very, very low on money. And uh, that's because rooting out the corruption. And uh, let's lower that a good chunk. So we at least just so we're barely in the positive. 
this this would work and we'll still reduce it a lot and this won't take long uh it's 0 016 and every year it will go down by 0 090 so yeah divide that by 12 and you get the number it is so it's just a few more months and that should do it almost now once this hits zero invest in this military technology and we're still losing innovativeness and let's wait for the rest because we can actually use this to well the temples are nice but we don't have the money there you go we're now getting 080 what changed what changed? Rooting out corruption is still immensely huge. What has gone away? What made this money happen? I don't know. In all, I, I really don't know. We should perhaps just save up money. Again, get an advisor. Because that is going to be important. Uh, while maintaining all of our relationships... And I would go for... Uh, no, national yeah, could be. Maybe just go for a... Um, what's it called again? Diplomatic guy? Spy network? But diplomatic... This one would be very nice. Diplomatic reputation plus one. Uh, I think we can actually see that over here. Member of the HRE plus one. And influence diplomat. A diplomatic reputation increases chances of having various diplomatic offers accepted by other countries, improves chances of inheritances in personal unions, speed up progress of diplomatic annexation and in, uh, integration. Which is strong. It is strong. Ah, so, we have a claim on you. Don't have a free one. We'll get a claim on you. We need a claim on him as well, even though we're not going to be doing anything with him. Oldenbrook. Duchy need a claim on you as well. What well, is one if once one of these guys is done, we'll be getting that claim. Like we don't necessarily need another claim on Moonster, but he will get Gelra on his behind, I think. Utrecht has a claim, is being claimed by Moonster. Getting Groninger. Berg. Yeah, it's still nice, but I don't need to break this alliance right away. Guess we'll hold. I'm still surprised about this. 12 years. And yeah. Let us increase our, our army maintenance to rooting this out. 001. What will happen to the rebellion? It's 4... 3, 4. There you go. National... Uh, it's, uh, the unrest is lowered by uh, to 1. So the unrest is, uh, is slowly going out. I think this is a good idea. Just making sure we have the additional morale. It's the build on racism and we'll we can actually um we can wait until the rebellious faction dies out slowly like i said this is an hre game we we need to be very careful with what we're going to be doing temples is nice when you actually are close to that additional um money but as you can see look at that modification is is, is extremely low and uh, we need to wait until the renaissance spread and now it's actually going it's been going all over the place. Uh, corruption is down. Let us, for fun of it, just make sure, yeah, that is maxed out. It's still on zero, so I'm okay with it. And that means that we have a good 3.9. We need so much money before this actually happens. Let us wait until the 0 0.5. So next year, this should be gone. That's at least how I see it. How's the Roman... Empire doing. So Austria, Austria, Austria. Uh, we already have Brandenburg. And if he becomes the ruler of the HRE, then that would be nice. The clerisy. We could gain prestige. I don't want to gain. I don't want to lose prestige. So I'll lose the papal influence. In all honesty, we can only do anything with this to gain stability or perhaps even some more tax. 
So I will ignore their demands. And they're on 40. They'll be okay. And we'll, we should be making a bit more money due to that. Let's see. Global trade. Uh, Diplomatic form Arshin is building up against me. He won't take my territory. If Arshin would take any of my territories, he would lose the free city uh, status. And uh, yeah, he won't be protected by Austria anymore. So that would be a mistake on his behalf and a big one. We should also have done this and actually moved on our diplomat to Oldenbrook. So let's go here and build up a spy network with Oldenbrook. So all of these claims are just for when any of these just stop being a member of that trade league. Now, okay, we, we probably don't need territory right away. But having a bit of a quarrel with them would be very nice. Uh, we still need to... Um, are you my rival? That's the thing. Oh, oh, who's my rival again? So, Nassau. Nassau has Archon, Hesse and Mainz. Depending on how many would join, I would... Um, humiliate the rival. And uh, piece the rest out for money. Since this is a free city. And Mainz is not a free city. It's actually just a one city province. We would have to get back up. And Hesse, I don't think any of these guys would join. He was bugging out, wasn't he? Yeah, you were. You were. So let's think about this and let us wait until the rebels die out. That is one thing. I don't need rebellion spawning. Especially I want to lower my army maintenance for just a few months to build up some cash. Apparently we're over our cap. Okay, that I didn't see coming. Uh, select this unit and uh, goodbye. That, that was, yeah, there you go. Wow, how could I have been over my cap? Nine, eight of eight. It was nine. What changed? What changed, guys? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. What did I do to deserve that? And at least we're making money again. We're very close on getting an advisor. Which is, of course, our main goal. Let's change you. Actually, no. Rebels. Remember those? Oh, actually, what, what kind of... What did we get here? Land fire damage plus 10. He's ruthless. I like ya. Great. Uh, we're getting close to a, a reformation. Tolerance of the true faith. Or war score against other religions. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, government internal missions will remove 100% of your government reform progress. Yeah, I'm not sure. Eventually, the uh, reformation will go. And the other religions would be nice because we could take more territory. And here we'll change to one of these. Whatever it is that you uh, decide, uh, we'll get it done. So, um, I'll end the video up here. Uh, once this dies out... We will most likely go to war with Nassau. We don't need his territory. I don't want his territory. But probably Gelro will come in. Since he hates him. Do you have a claim? No. Yeah, Gelro will definitely join us. And once this is up, we'll... Uh, once is that... In a few more years, five more years, we can actually do his arrival so we can humiliate him as well. Other than that, it's just probably show power. That's all that, that I'm interested in. Getting those additional points would be incredibly nice. Yeah, we don't need the temples just yet. What else does it give us? Yeah, nothing that much. Renaissance not embraced is just giving me a penalty. Are the countries close? Yeah, it's just spreading very slowly here. We need to save up money to get this ASAP. And it will be expensive. But the sooner we get it, the better. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you are enjoying yourself. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.